Okay, so starting in Tadasana at the top of our mat, we're going to start by inhaling the arms all the way up, slight bend in the knees, and exhale to release the arms out to the side. Again, inhale, the arms come up above the head, reach, 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 and exhale to release. We'll do that again. Inhale, bend in the knees. This time, exhale, swan dive all the way down. Inhale, flat back and exhale to release plant the hands and we'll step or jump back to a plank and we'll release through chaturanga up dog and then take a one leg down dog exhale bending that right leg and then inhale to extend and release to the mat exhale coming to your plank chaturanga up dog one leg down dog on the left side, bending that knee as you get to the top. Really enjoy that stretch, reaching the heels toward the mat. And now we'll just bend and straighten our knees. You can feel free to walk your dog if you like to pedal, get the hips involved, whatever feels good to you. Keeping the belly button to spine, reaching the heels toward the mat. Bend the knees and straighten. Bend the knees, looking forward, step or jump to the top of the mat. Exhale to release, holding forward. Inhale, slowly wind the body, drag the body all the way up. Reverse swan hands and exhale to release. Inhale, arms all the way above the head. Exhale, release. Again, inhale, bending the knees and exhale, taking a chair, arms extended overhead. Weight is in the heels. Release the hands to heart center and we'll exhale to straighten out the knees forward fold with our prayer hands and then release the hands to the mat. Inhale, flat back, lengthening through the spine. Exhale, folding forward again. Inhale, bending the knees, coming back to that chair and then bringing the prayer hands to the spine. Inhale, pressing through the legs and Stepping the right leg back. Releasing to reverse warrior and then exhale, sitting the forearm to the thigh. Reverse warrior, again, release forearm to the thigh. Reverse in the warrior yet again. Exhale, release straight arms, straight legs, straightening out that left leg or bending if needed. Exhale, bending the knee, taking a extended side angle with a bind. Exhale to release, bringing everything back center, wrapping that left leg around the left arm, rocking forward and back. Exhale to release both arms out in front. Both legs are bent, and then we step forward into a standing split. Exhale to release. Bending the knees, round the body all the way up, one vertebra at a time, reverse swan dive arms. And then we exhale, finding our warrior two yet again, and we'll reverse the warrior, and then extended side angle, reverse the warrior, really reaching as much as you can. And finally, we'll exhale to have both of the arms straight, both legs straight, exhale, extended side angle. Take the bind if it's in your practice. Unwind, unbind, wrap the right leg around the right arm. Rock forward and back using the core. Exhale to extend both legs out and straight. Stepping forward, taking a standing split again. Exhale, both feet together. Then we'll inhale the right leg up and we'll find warrior three. Use your balance here, use your core, belly button to spine, exhale to release, other side. Inhale, leg goes up and then we'll extend the arms out to the side, finding our balance, exhale and release. Bending the knees, finding your chair again. Make sure you have enough space to send the right leg back for three, two, one, and we'll switch sides for three, two, and one. 
Inhale to press all the way up. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, arms all the way up. And then we'll take a side bend here. Inhale, activate through the core and exhale. Inhale to lengthen and as you exhale, take a twist to the right. And then inhale back center, taking a twist to the left and exhale the arms back behind you, taking prayer to the back again, hinging at the hips, forward fold. Inhale, wind the upper body up. And we'll do that again, exhaling to fold forward. Inhaling to come up. Standing tall, we'll then interlock the fingers, pressing the heart forward out into the room, and then exhale forward fold with the arms bound, just like you see here. And then we'll exhale to release, plant the hands, and step or jump, finding our plank. And then we'll just take the hips side to side, and then we'll start to release the knees side to side. So right to left, taking care not to bang the knees or anything. And then we'll exhale, coming to our down dog. Slowly release the forearms to the mat. Find your dolphin pose, bending the right knee and bringing it up, finding a nice deep stretch. Exhale to release, making sure as you bend that knee, the right heel is reaching toward the ground. Exhale to release. And then we'll slowly and gently release both knees to the mat, finding child's pose, whatever that looks like for you. On your next inhale, slowly press the body up and then look to the left and then right, taking your time here. Eyes can be open or closed. Feel free to stay on one side longer than the other when needed. And then we'll walk our hands out, sending the hips up, extending those arms out as far as you can comfortably get them and enjoy the stretch. The neck should be relaxed. The bulk of that stretch felt on the underside of the arms and near the armpit area. Inhale to press the body back up, finding our table. Inhale the right knee up, left arm finds the right ankle or foot, extending, enjoying the stretch. Bending the left leg, right arm meets left leg. Gentle pull allows a deeper stretch. Exhale to release. We'll make our way to our bottom for just a little bit of boat pose, which will get us to the ground. So balancing here for a moment. And as you exhale, release the entire body, finding Shavasana. Make any final adjustments so that you can remain in stillness and comfort. As you're ready, we'll start to bend both knees and bring them closer to the chest. Wrap the hands around the knees and slowly, gently take the knees side to side. A little massage for the low back. Extend the arms out to the side and gently release the right knees to the right side or the knees to the right side. As you exhale, really Take on and enjoy this twist. Allow the exhale to deepen the twist. 
Then we'll inhale, bring the knees back center, and exhale, release the knees to the left side. And we're looking in the opposite direction of the knees, keeping the shoulders glued to the mat. We'll inhale to activate the core and exhale, release, bringing the knees back center and then rocking and rolling up to Sukhasana. Inhale the arms above the head and exhale, hands to heart center. I hope that you've enjoyed this little bit of time to yourself and have an amazing rest of the day. Namaste.